Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at can you cut your brushless motor wires shorter? Now there's a bunch of reasons why you may want to do this. You may want to do this in order to relieve some of the room or maybe it's really congested. The motor wires are all over the place and you need to shorten them up to make some space so you can actually get it to the area that you require. You may also be doing it from a performance understanding where if you shorten the length of your motor wires and in fact it applies to any wires within your power system you would be able to reduce the amount of resistance thereby gaining more performance this is totally true if you can cut your brushless motor wires I want to take a look at an example here first. I wanted to go through this example using actual brushless motors. We have a bunch here. I don't know what the conclusion is for these motors specifically except for one. Uh, but what I want to point out is that you do have different lengths of wire being used within each of the brushless motor. Uh, so you here have the smallest length of wire being used. And I, yes, I have had motors that are even much shorter than this, probably where probably about this much I've had in the past with a brushless motor. Uh, and that's what you use to solder on your speed control. Very minimal amounts of wire coming out from the brushless motor. Uh, you also have this larger motor that has the wires. They're re relatively uh, rigid in their shape and they're also quite thin. And then you also have this last motor here that has very flexible and long wires. Uh, so there you go, you have a bunch of different motor examples here. Now let's get an understanding as to what could be happening with these brushless motors. There we covered our brushless motors. You can see from our first image here that we have a motor that represents having much longer wires than the motor in our second example. Now the question then becomes, what does this mean for each one of those brushless motors that we talked about? Well, it can mean something to do with whether it's safe or not to cut the wires off of those brushless motors in order to reduce the overall length. Now, the real answer to this question is, you know, is it safe to cut off the brushless motor wires? Well, the answer is yes or possibly no. It really depends and it's up to you to figure out if it's going to be okay. Uh, so let's look at an example as to what we mean. Uh, within your brushless motor, you have the windings that make up the stator. From there, you have multiple pairs of wire that have to be terminated. That termination can actually be done outside of the motor or it can be done within the motor. Depending on where this termination is, is really going to ultimately depend on whether you can cut those motor wires or not. So let's look at exactly how we can break this into details, understanding how the termination actually occurs. We have here a couple simple examples with windings being shown. We have a brushless motor and we're going to dial into specifically this area here. We, we have our wires that we know that we connect to the speed control and then just inside the motor what that looks like. We go up here, we follow this diagram, we have all the different coils that are found within our brushless motor. It's a three-phase motor. We have three coils here. This is a relatively simple version of what is inside your motor. If you look at the box, the box represents the physical motor size. So that's what we're looking at and you can see how we're looking at specifically this area here. We want to focus on this last bit. Now what you see is you have, for example, on our phase number one you have two black wires that actually exit the winding. Those two black wires actually feed to two different outputs. You have one of the bullets being used, you have another bullet being used for those two black wires. Same thing with the red wires as well. And lastly, with the blue wires, you're always going to have two bullet connectors for this example being used. Now what you'll notice is these connections don't actually terminate here. They get terminated right at the connector. You can see where it crosses. This represents where those two wires would have to be soldered together. And then once they're soldered together here, you can then go ahead and put a connector on them. So what happens if I were to go and cut the wires off of this brushless motor? Let's say I go ahead and I cut, I wanna reduce by let's say 30% of the wire there because I want to get it a little bit shorter. So I go ahead and I actually trim right here and then I wanna reattach my, my uh, bullet connectors to that point. Well, what I've effectively done is remove the actual termination point of all these windings. The result from cutting those wires in that location is I've now ruined the termination for each one of my windings. 
The other part that's going to be a little troublesome is when I go and try and solder my connectors back to the wire, it's going to be very difficult. Unless, of course, I remember that there may be some enamel on the copper that needs to be removed before I can actually apply my connector back onto the wire in order to be soldered. Now, you're going to have enamel on the wire because this is exactly what type of wire is used within our brushless motors. That wire is actually exiting the can of the motor. It's coming outside into where our connectors are being placed. What you must do is remove some of the enamel in order to get the termination of the connector back onto these leads. Uh, in this case, if you are directly dealing with very short leads where termination is in fact outside of the motor, it would not be advisable or recommended to go and cut your motor wires. If your motor wires are relatively short, leave them alone. See if you can perform some other reduction in wire length by cutting closer maybe to the ESC, for example. That is an area where it would be a lot safer than here. You know, we're talking about one to three inches of wire being exposed from this motor. In that case, it's best to leave them alone, and that's exactly why, because you could potentially be cutting the terminations of your windings off, and then it's gonna be very difficult to solder them back on unless you understand that it's a copper enamel coated wire and then you can go ahead and remove the coating and solder them on as long as you go and put those termination of the windings back in place and if you look at our other example what happens is is completely different this here we only have half the motor shown we've kind of uh, done a brake view here and these motor wires are a lot longer it's very similar to the one motor i was holding that was green that had these very long leads this motor is the only one that i have confirmed where i know where those termination points are. The termination points are inside the motor. So here you have all of the windings going throughout the stator of your motor inside the motor. And then you could see it. We have the exact same thing happening here. We just copy and pasted this down here. The difference is the motor has some extra room right at the back of it that is able to house all the termination points. Before you actually see these termination points coming outside of the motor, it goes to a solid, nice, flexible wire that then can take the power away. If you were to cut this brushless motor wire somewhere you know, halfway or 30% of the way, you would not affect the termination points because they are in here. So there is reason why you could get yourself into the situation where you do need to cut the motor wires. Uh, I would suggest being creative and seeing how you can avoid it, especially if you have one of those wires with very, or one of those motors with extremely small wire lengths. Uh, so there you have it. That is the reason why you need to be aware of cutting the brushless motor wires and why not to. When you want to know if you can or cannot cut them, you have to go and look at the manufacturer's recommendation. The manufacturer for that one motor that I showed has confirmed with myself uh, again, I try and leave it a, as a stock configuration if I don't need to go ahead and cut those wires off. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.